This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install memory into a Lenovo ThinkStation P500 workstation. So the first thing you want to do is go to GreenPCGamers.com. And at the top of GreenPCGamers.com, you're going to see a tab that's called Blog. You'll want to click on that. And search articles for P500. That's going to bring up an article called Lenovo ThinkStation P500 gaming computer and other hardware upgrades. This is a great guide for upgrading your P500 workstation. We show you all the high clock speed CPUs, uh, memory, NVMe drives, graphics cards, and other cool peripherals um, to optimize your system for gaming or any other high-end computing. Um, but in your case, you might want to look at uh, upgrading your memory. Uh, we provide part numbers that are compatible with your system. So you can check this out. It's a completely free resource. We don't sell anything. We just give you the tools to upgrade your system. So let's actually get to the install. Uh, we're going to give you some general information about the P500 before we actually show you how to install the modules. Um, system supports up to 512 gig of RAM. That's if you use the, the LR DIMMs. Um, it has eight physical memory slots. And it supports R or LR DIMMs. Uh, do not mix them. Uh, and it does support DDR4 memory. So how do you know what speed memory to install into your P500 workstation? Well, your Intel processor will determine how fast the memory can run. So if you're, if you're concerned about that and you're not adding or piggybacking off of existing modules, which if you're doing that, you should just try to match those modules. But if you're installing all new modules, um, you'll want to go into your F10 setup on in post. And what you do to get into there is you just reboot your system, tap F10. Once you're in there, there's some cool diagnostic tools, but there's a place that, called System Information. You can click on that, and you can find out your CPU model and version. So you're looking, in our case, we had an E5-1620V3 proc. So that's what we were looking for so that we can search um, on Intel's website to see what the max speed memory that it'll support. Um, and then a little guide here. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell what speed memory it'll run at. Uh, if you have 1700 memory, it runs at 23, 2133 megahertz. If you have 19200 memory, it runs at 2400 megahertz. All right, so we're going to actually show you how to look up your processor on Intel uh, on Intel's website and we're going to show you how to determine what speed you should install if you are installing new memory. So, again, we have the E5-1620V3 proc. We're just going to search that on Google. The top search is actual, actually Intel's website, which is great. This is exactly where we want to be. We're going to scroll down to where it says memory specifications. All right, so this is exactly what we're looking for. Um, it's going to tell us a bunch of stuff about this processor and what it supports as far as memory. Um, and what we are looking for is memory types. And this one supports a bunch of different speeds, but the fastest speed is 2133. Um, AKA, sometimes the memory modules are stamped with 1700, but that's 2133. So if you have this processor installed, you want to look for 2133P modules um, registered typically. Um, you can put 2400T modules in there but they're going to clock down to 2133 anyway. So um, I guess it's whatever you can find, whatever you're comfortable with installing, but 2133 is the max. So that's how you determine what the max speed memory is for your processor. And normally that's what you want to shoot for uh, when you're installing new memory. Again, if you're piggybacking off of the existing modules, you, you should just try to match those. All right, so let's get that actual install. This is our P500 workstation. Um, we are installing four 4 gig single rank 2133P modules. They're all matching. They're all Hynix. And so the first thing you want to do is put your system on its side. Obviously, unplug it and remove the side panel like we just showed you. Then you're going to remove your memory cooling shroud, uh, memory cooling and processor shroud. So you'll want to remove that. It's really easy to remove. Uh, we have two banks of four modules, one above and one below the processor. And it's pretty simple. Um, we're gonna do, we're gonna install it. We have four modules, so we're gonna put them in slots one, two, three, and four, which happens to be the like beige, beige white slots. And so we're gonna go ahead and 
open up those clips on those slots so it's a little bit easier to install the modules. We missed one there. All right, so now here are our four gig modules. Now take a look at the notch because you're gonna wanna line that up with the slot. And if you do that right, which sometimes it takes a few times to figure it out, you'll be able to shimmy those modules in. So line them up. And then what I like to do is, is push the far right side and then the far left side or vice versa. And it'll click in on each side. So just like we're doing and boom, it clicks in. So we've got two of our modules installed. Now we're gonna install the other modules. And again, line it up in the slot and push once on each side and it'll click in. Now, if you, if your modules are not fitting, make sure you double check that notch and then also double check what modules you purchased to install and make sure they physically fit. All right, so we've got our modules installed. It's pretty simple. Now we just need to put our cooling shroud back on like so, should be flush so we can put our side panel back on. And now we just need to put our side panel back on. And now we're ready to turn the system back on. Okay, so we're gonna go into that F10 setup and just verify um, that our memory is showing up properly. So here's the F10 setup. I'm gonna go to the right and go to where it says memory, pretty simple. And we see our four, four gig, 2133 megahertz modules. Again, they're running at 2133 megahertz because that's the max speed for our processor. And it's showing 16 gig, which is perfect. So if you, if your modules are, let's say you put 2133 modules in there and yours are, your, yours are showing up as like 1866 megahertz, it's probably because your processor is clocking those modules down. All right, that's cool. It even shows the manufacturer code. All right, so now we're booting into Windows 10, and we are just going to verify that all of the memory is showing up, and it is 16 gig of RAM installed, so everything is working perfectly. And so to get to that, you just right-click on Start and hit System, and you can see if your memory is showing up properly. If you, if for some reason you're getting like a beep code, you're going to want to double-check your memory, your configuration. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please comment below. Also, like GreenPCGamers.com on Facebook for monthly giveaways. Thank you so much for watching.